the hole in the center of everything. Thank you, Dark Tantrum, for the Twitch Prime subscription. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me! And we can use both of our arms. We can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Ah! Aru? You okay? Where did... Or what are... Yeah, let's go with where did... Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess? No, I have to go alone, or... You all wait here, I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright. Let's go do something really stupid. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Oh dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever, or... I have to go down in there. I guess that one... Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Haha. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Oh, see, that's kind of clever because that line... I wouldn't have necessarily heard that if I didn't go with B to that party that day. And it actually directly relates to this moment. That's interesting. Please don't be Firewatch ending. Please don't be Firewatch ending. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, then. Well, come out of this together. Oh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure? Yeah, that's the most menacing looking elevator I think I've ever seen. 
Except for maybe that one, there's a movie about an elevator from hell that, like, the devil possessed, and when you went in the elevator, like, I don't know what it did, but it killed you somehow, or, like, tortured you or something. I don't know. Well, here we are. <laughs> hey, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just, like, it's like something huge is on top of me. Is she in reality right now? Is that is there something literally on top of her body and she's in her mind? I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> Even in tense moments, they can't not joke. Wait. Can't not can. Okay, double negative means positive. What? Oh my god, we're in the stars in underground. What is going on here? That is a very cool stylistic decision. Door. Door. Tunnel? Whatever. Here we go. My stomach is like turning over right now thinking about this. It's freaking crazy. How bizarre too that they gave you that moment of like, oh, we're breaking the fourth wall. You're getting attached to these characters. We're going to take that away from you. And then another like that could have been an ending in and of itself but now we're getting to whatever the actual message was what is going on in the background there's like red stuff hanging down it's just cloth or dirt or something oh geez what is this place it's like a church or something and like junk oh god oh god what is it it's here it's here Oh God, what is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Is it that hot girl I met at the club? Is she actually Satan? Dude, the whole game for that moment to see the dot. Oh, that's so smart. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, so you're like five times... We're like five times scarier than you. Oh, shit. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. Eddie... Or... Edie? How do you say that name? I... I... Eat... ID? ID. You'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors? Um, okay. 
So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that... ID? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest! He's been in my head somehow! I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What?! Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dory who found it 20 years back or so? After the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vess Schumacher, last supervisor, was out here when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and the date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper. Abandoned. Shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we were standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, uh, so some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. Never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But something else does, or someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. What? What is it? Or... So what does this have to do with you, me, or anyone? I guess, what is it? Black goat? Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just... do something... a hole in a cave told you to? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on la lazy people and immigrants. Whoa, this is getting wild. Well, we worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits! You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came down, came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know, or answers? Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? When he takes a shine into... Rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this. After that first time. After we picked one out. Well. Not only was the town holding stable. Sometimes I wish they put a few more words in the text boxes. Because like. It's hard to know the trajectory of a sentence when you see like a third of it sometimes. I know that sounds weird, but like, you kind of pre-read sentences before you commit to them. Anyway, uh, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us uh, left from back then. Picked or first time picked? First one was Tom Turner, who believe uh, you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here and in the hole he went. Next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're... feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. 
Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number... One of our number broke the rules. And had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god, oh no. How many people have died down here? Oh, I'd say... Three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine? Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a feeling hard. It still hurts. Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. K Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long for whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know, he was talking up or taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. Dead to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous is far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You... You're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening! We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood carry this on, we're gone. Really? You're like, pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? Or someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does! This is real bad. This is insane! Why should we help you? 
Why shouldn't we just call the cops? Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Yeah, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Hehe. <laughs> I... I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror? It's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if... Shh. Talk later. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey, yeah, I, yeah. And for what? I, I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right. But, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen which was what had happened like a long time ago or how they remember or like picture it and things it gave them and so Casey and that kid at Harfest and sorry I lost it that's more sense than I can make of it they're sad it's all really sad you ready to go again Angus yep yeah, sorry wait everybody shut up What? Shh, I thought I... What the fuck? There's a quick time event? I hit it. I didn't know I had to hit it a lot. Oh, God. Dude! Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? No, I, I hit the thing, like, right as soon as I saw it. It just didn't do anything. And then I thought I had to press it more. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, May, say something! <laughs> May? I think I know what she's laughing at. This is the discussion that they had when they were in the historical society. The one said to the other one that I hope you, the elevator breaks and it cuts your head off. Ha. <laughs> Sniff. Sob. It's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit. How are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute.
I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aw. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> it was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back there. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Oh, all their hands. Everyone's working together. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. Sniff, sniff. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. Oh, we're going back to the left now? Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. No. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding. We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Yeah, I don't... I don't even know how to characterize a sound that that would mean. Oh, there's there's some cryptic text over there. It looks like like a cornfield UFO stuff, hieroglyphics. Oh, shut up already! That's not the word you use for that. Cryptographs? No, that's not it either. I don't know. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. Is she like narcoleptic? You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit if... You need to. We're safe. Uh, huh? Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did.
What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. For sure. Hello. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, you up for this? Yeah, or no? Let's say yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body is like, Oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? It sounds like she's having a stroke. Endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. I think she means adrenaline. <laughs> or like, isn't that still not... I mean, endorphins are the 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 pleasure chemical, but I don't think that's what you get from adrenaline? I don't know. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's just assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. What do I... Oh, this is climbable. I thought I had to, like, build a staircase out of the rubble on the ground. This is the Metroid escape sequence. Thinking of dopamine? Oh. Maybe I'm all confused. Don't worry about it. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or, in, or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May! Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Uh, oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Why does he have dynamite? There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense, I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. Oh, then they get to see who's not in the town anymore and they know who it was. If it's true that they did actually cause them to die. Oh no, what if it was her parents or something? No, 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 they're all still alive down there! 
Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would've. Uh... What? What? They, like, killed people! They were trying to get us to kill people! Screw them! I don't even believe in hell and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Uh, this is like that trolley thing. If my friend Alpaca Patrol was here, he would certainly have an answer for what to do in the trolley predicament. Good thing he's not, or we would talk about that for a very long time. Except, actually, I like Alpaca Patrol, and I do wish he was here sometimes. What do you think about that, Angus? Yeah, I like Rob a lot. He really adds a lot to the discussions. What trolley thing? Uh, okay, I'll explain if we keep walking. Hey guys, who am I talking to? Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are do off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all, like, moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I don't appreciate that. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. Uh, I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off.